Hi friends, I have another polar bear book for you today. This one's called Ahoy There, Little Polar Bear. Lars, the little polar bear, lived with his mother and father near the North Pole where everything was white for as far as the eye could see. Although he spent much of his time alone, he was happy. But one day, when Lars swam quite, quite far from his den, something terrible happened. Lars caught his foot, was pulled down deep into the sea, then yanked up in a gigantic net. Lars was dropped to the ground with such a bang that he fainted. When he woke, he couldn't tell where he was. Above him was a ladder, so he climbed up the slippery rope. Lars roamed the hallways. It seemed he was all alone until something rustled behind him. As he turned around, two large eyes stared at him, and Lars ran for his life. Just when he thought he was safe again, he heard a voice. Don't be afraid. It's only Nemo, the ship's cat. Welcome aboard. Lars looked up. Above him was a friendly-looking creature with orange fur. Lars could see that Nemo was an animal that he could trust. I'm Lars, said the little polar bear. I'm trying to get home as soon as I can. I'm afraid that isn't possible, at least not right away, Nemo said. Your home is a long way from where we are now. Well, where are we, asked Lars. We're on a ship, on our way back to port. Once we're there, I'll take you to see some friends who may be able to help. But until then, there isn't anything we can do. Why don't we get you something to eat? I expect you're very hungry. When he had eaten, Lars felt much more cheerful. He curled up beside Nemo and fell fast asleep. When they awoke, Nemo took Lars up to the deck. Look, he said, pointing to the horizon, which was aglow with lights. That's the port. We'll be there soon. Lars was so excited he could hardly wait to go ashore. When the ship had come into port, Lars eagerly followed Nemo onto the deck and over the plank. Try to look inconspicuous, said Nemo. Things are trying to blend in. What Lars found on the other side of the plank surprised and disappointed him. Everything was so untidy and dirty. I'm afraid this isn't a very clean place, sighed Nemo. We'd best hurry. Follow me around the back way. The streets are much too dangerous. As Lars and Nemo made their way through alleys and back streets, Lars' white coat became dirtier and dirtier. He wished more than ever that he was home again where everything was clean and white. Following Nemo over fences and along, walk, along walls took all Lars's efforts. At last, Nemo stopped. We've arrived, he announced. Wait, here, just a moment. It was very dark and many eyes were staring at Lars and he grew really nervous. But the eyes belonged to some more cats who turned out to be just as friendly as Nemo. The cats looked grave as Nemo explained Lars's problem. They thought it over for a few minutes. Then a black and white cat, cat stepped forward. I'm Johnny, also a ship's cat, he said. My ship is leaving for the Arctic tomorrow. We must get you on board before daylight. Oh my goodness, look at all the cats. Lars, Johnny, and Nemo had to rush back through the alleys and backyards. Lars was so excited to be on his way home again. He forgot to watch where he was going and almost got hit by a truck. When Lars reached the ship, he said goodbye to Nemo quickly, for there was not much time, and it was a very sad moment. For Lars, the time on the ship passed quickly. It wasn't long before he spotted something wonderful on the horizon. Look, Johnny, he shouted, the North Pole! See how clean and white it is? I was once as clean and white as that. That night, when the ship anchored, Lars thanked Johnny and set off for the beautiful white shores of the North Pole. As Lars swam, the sea washed his fur clean. Once on shore, Lars ran for his den to greet his worried parents who couldn't have been happier to see him. When Lars told his parents about his adventures, their mouths dropped open. And this is what Nemo looks like, Lars explained as he tried his best to look like a cat. Although his parents were not sure they understood, they were so happy to have him home again and it didn't really matter. That night, they all slept close together. After that day, Lars's father often found his son gazing out at the horizon. What are you looking for, he asked. Ships, Lars said, and cats too. 
Someday, a cat might fall off a ship and come to visit us. I miss you all so much.